Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is New Makeup Monday, so if you guys wanna talk about all the new makeup that has been announced, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on my YouTube channel. I love playing with new eyeshadow palettes, also new blushes. I love blush. I'm an eyeshadow and blush junkie, so if you like to see videos about new eyeshadow palettes, if you like talking about new makeup, sometimes I throw in an occasional Shop My Stash video. We do anti-hauls here on my channel. It's very busy around here, so if you like the sound of that, if you like to see new videos all the time, Highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay, you guys, happy Monday. I hope you guys are having an amazing start to the week. I definitely am having such a good start to the week because I felt like last week I was like, okay, things are kind of slow. I'm just like bopping around and all of a sudden like a bunch of new releases just like fell into my lap. So I'm very excited because you guys know I love me some new makeup to play with, so I will talk about some things that I have with me. I also wanted to mention that I did film this look. I am wearing something that hasn't been revealed yet, so as soon as that is revealed, as soon as I know more, I will go ahead and post this video, show you guys how I created this makeup look. I'm so, so excited for this brand, so that is some of the tea there. And yeah, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and get started. So one of the things I am wearing today is from Sydney Grace, and this has been shown, but there's something else they haven't shown yet. So I don't wanna spoil anything for the brand, but I can show you the eyeshadow palette. So I'm wearing the Unbreakable Bond eyeshadow palette in the deep shade. As always, Sydney Grace is doing a light version and a deep version. So this is the deep version, and I did swatch this as well. So I'll go ahead and throw up swatches. I did film this video and I will have this look go live hopefully before this collection launches. From the information I have, this palette is launching March 27th at 9 Pacific Standard Time and it'll be $56 and this is a collaboration between Sydney Grace and the Taylor Sisters so I will definitely talk more about the background in my dedicated video on this eyeshadow palette. So stay tuned for that. Like I said, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. But yeah, it's a beautiful half neutral, like half, not really half, just like two pops of blue, kind of cool toned, but it's a vibe. I know people that love Sydney Grace love their neutrals. And I mean, they also make stunning colorful eyeshadows, but I feel like their pull is definitely more on the neutral side. So yeah, definitely, definitely excited about CD Grace coming out with those new palettes. We'll talk about it more as soon as I can share what the other product is as well. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. So that's one of the new items I have with me. I also have the new Nomad palette, but that has not been shown or anything yet. So come back on Saturday, I believe they're going to be announcing the color story and then I'll be able to post my video show you guys looks and stuff like that so I haven't filmed anything with it yet but yeah I just want to let you guys know next Saturday I think is when they will be showing the color story so I'll be able to post on Saturday and then I believe the palette launches on Tuesday they're currently doing like the guessing game on their Instagram so if you don't follow Nomad Cosmetics on their Instagram, highly recommend doing so as well. Also, one more thing, if you're ever looking for my discount codes or any affiliate links, I usually put that in a pinned comment down below so it's easy for you guys to shop. I number everything in the order that I'm talking about each of the items. So hopefully that's easy for you guys. If you have any feedback, let me know. Thank you always for using my codes and my links to shop. It really, really helps me out. Really helps me put back into the channel. You guys know, maybe you don't know, I'm actually a stay-at-home mom slash I do YouTube for basically my pocket money. So it really does help me out and I really, really appreciate you guys shopping through my links. The other link that I should probably mention is for Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. That is still going on and I did post 
my Ulta 21 Days of Beauty Week 2 video on Saturday. So in case you guys missed it, I'm doing a weekly breakdown of the 21 Days of Beauty sale because I feel like this is actually one of the good years. They've done some really good stuff. There's also like the same repeat stuff, but I've been breaking it down week by week because... I mean, each of my Ulta videos is like a half an hour long, so imagine if I did all three weeks in one, I'd be out of breath and like you guys would be bored anyway. So I will link my Ulta video and I will also leave a link, an affiliate link to the Ulta Beauty website if you guys are planning on shopping. So yeah, that was a lot of info, but let's go ahead and slide on over and I'm going to go ahead and actually look and see what new things are available at Ulta for you guys. So I think I want to do like a segment where I just go through what's new at Ulta because they typically put new products on there on Sunday. I've been noticing that they add more things during the week now than they used to, but I feel like primarily Sunday is their day to add new products. So they have added like all the Tree Hut stuff, which I feel like this stuff was already on here, so I'm not quite sure. But I will say I did pick up the Tree Hut vitamin C foaming gel body wash because I was so excited that Tree Hut did body washes and I will say it's not like my favorite. I do love the Tree Hut face scrubs and I love their body scrubs as well but I feel like the body washes are just okay in case you guys are wondering but their face scrubs and their body scrubs are delicious. They smell so so amazing so I just wanted to mention that I don't always talk about hygiene products but Tree Hut is one of my favorite like drugstore price point things that is available at Ulta they're also usually available at Target in case you guys want to shop there okay this is what I wanted to touch on so the Tarte blush tape liquid blushes are now available at Ulta and I'm so excited you guys because I actually bought these on QVC because I was so excited. So I myself own Peach and Berry and they're so beautiful. They're definitely more of a blush highlighter on me because there is some color to each of them but it's very like highlightery and super duper pretty if you love a glowy blush so highly recommend. I would love to see them do a matte version of this. Hopefully that's coming somewhere down the pipeline. Hopefully somebody at Tarte is taking requests <laughs> watching my video but I really like them and then they also launched the glow tape highlighters so these I've been stocking on the Tarte website and I was so surprised that they launched on Ulta but I was able to grab the shade golden glow there's a light shade a medium shade and a deep skin shade so I just grabbed the one that would probably work for me which is golden glow so I can't wait to get it because I love shopping on Ulta I love getting the Ulta points all of the things, so those two products are now available on Alto, which is great for you guys, in my humble opinion. And then I've been stocking, listen, I don't talk about fragrance a ton on my channel, but I've been dying to smell this Ellis Brooklyn Florist perfume. And I actually went into Sephora today, my Sephora store had this, and I smelt it, and it smelt really nice. So it's like a clean floral scent, which it can go either way, right? Because I feel like for me, florals can be very heavy, and I don't love a very heavy floral fragrance. I know some people love that, but it's not for me. But this one actually smells a little bit floral, a little bit clean. So I'm super duper excited. I think I might pick that up during the Sephora sale and I love the pink bottle you guys I've been like obsessed with pink I keep telling you guys I'm gonna have two daughters soon <laughs> I already have one I'm gonna have a second one in May so I feel like pink is just like my color right now and this bottle oh my god it looks so beautiful so I think I have that down for the <laughs> Sephora sale for me and I'm very very excited the other thing, again, I don't talk about bath products a ton, but I do love the Dr. Teal's line, and they also make really good body scrubs. And I found this at my Walmart, and it looks like it's now available at Ulta as well. So this is their Dr. Teal's Shea Sugar Scrub in Lemon Balm. Hello! I just told you guys how much I love fresh scents, and I love the scent of lemon. This one smells 
amazing. So if you guys are curious about it, I would highly recommend. It smells so good. There's also a lemon balm body wash, which like I feel like I need to just like add that to my cart because I love the smell of the body wash and then they just have a bunch of other stuff as well. But those three to four things I really, really wanted to mention to you guys because they definitely like piqued my interest. There's a bunch of other new stuff, but those were the things that really caught my attention at Ulta on my Sunday morning perusing, browsing that I do on the Ulta website. Okay, so now that we've talked about all the things that were catching my attention on the Ulta app, let's go ahead and talk about stuff that I'm seeing on Trend Mood. So the first thing on here is the new Top Secret Instant Tone Up All-in-One Primer color corrector and sun protector from YSL. It says it provides a flawless skin tone while optimizing the pre-makeup routine. The pearls act instantly while powerful natural origin active ingredients improve skin quality in the long term, reduces the visibility of imperfections, and brightens the complexion. The skin tone is corrected and the skin feels fresh and radiant in three colors. So I've never really been that into YSL primers. I remember, is it the Touche Claw that's YSL? I feel like that was like so hype back in the day, but I'm not really big on primers or color correctors, so it's an easy skip for me, but I feel like color corrector is such a trend right now, so I'm sure that'll be something that a lot of people that love high-end makeup will be into. Speaking of high-end, I feel like the wait is finally over. Oh my gosh. Mother Pat, Auntie Pat, whatever you want to call her, she is finally, she's finally launching bronzers, you guys, and... I mean, we had to celebrate with Pat my goat. Am I am I right? I mean, the goat is literally named after her, so we had to have an appearance from the goat. So we have the Divine Bronze Collection. So we have the Divine Bronzers for $39. There's eight shades. I haven't actually gone through and figured out what shade I'm gonna be, but listen, I'm gonna be grabbing one of these bronzers come hell or high water. I do love, I love how she had to like squeeze in this like neutral collection that nobody asked for. You're gonna make like one big purchase for the year and you wanna buy like a quad and a blush and a lipstick and a lip liner and a lip gloss. Like I love that that's a set that you can buy if you wanted to, but like, ugh why like we didn't need this quad like it's so basic <laughs> and it looks like the love collection that she just did so I don't love that for us but oh, whatever and then she's launching the divine blush in divine rose 3 for $39 and then there is a brush for $39 and then there is the Venusian sunrise quad for $62 there's also a Perma Gel Ultra Lip Pencil for $29, Nude Venus Matte Trans Lipstick for $39, and the Nude Venus Gloss for $29. I feel like I have that color. I feel like Nude Venus already exists. I know that there are way more of you out there that are way more well-versed in Pat McGrath than I am. I definitely am a collector. I love her stuff, but I've definitely slowed down. I've definitely become pickier. I don't just buy every single thing that she launches anymore because I just feel like it gets a little repetitive. So I've been trying to be a little bit more picky with what I buy, but I feel like I've been waiting for so long for bronzer. So I'm definitely gonna get the bronzer, but I'm gonna skip everything else. So you guys will have to let me know if you guys are interested in the Pomegranate bronzer or are you just gonna wait? Like, I wonder if it's gonna come to Sephora, which in that case, I should probably just get it on Sephora during like the VIB sale because I don't really like need the bronzer like right right now, but she will also probably have a discount code. Typically, Pat McGrath launches, there's usually like a 10% off. So it's not like the worst deal in the world. Plus it's not like it's a mothership palette. So. It's, I mean, I'm not saying $39 is cheap, but when it comes to Pat McGrath, it's not, it's not the most expensive thing. So maybe I'll get it. Maybe, maybe I'll wait. We'll see. You guys let me know 
what you're thinking. Like, are you guys going to buy it or are you guys going to skip it? I'm so nosy. I really want to know. And then again, I tell you guys, I don't talk about fragrance, but I very recently bought the orange, what is it called? It's like citrus something from the brand Fleur. And so again, my Sephora, the fragrance section was, they were prepared. So I went in and I was so surprised to find Fleur Solar Power. So now this is described as a fresh solar scent opening with a sparkling burst of bold citrusy bergamot and red mandarin. Solar Power is illuminated by a warm solar floral accord of neroli, jasmine, and orange flower wrapped in a comforting blend of musk, driftwood, and sea salt. That literally sounds right up my alley. And I smelt it and I just didn't... I just didn't love it. I was a little bit shook because I really like the Fleur fragrance I have. It's called Tangerine Boy. I think that's the name of the fragrance. So citrusy, unbelievable. It literally smells like I squeezed an orange on my body before leaving the house. Their packaging is so cute. Love it for me. But this one, I was a little bit shook. Like I was expecting to love it more than I did. And I was especially expecting to love it more than the Ellis Brooklyn scent that I talked about. So yeah, that was kind of a shocker, but yeah, maybe I need to go smell it again. I don't know. I was, I was a little bit surprised, but I do really like Tangerine Boy by um, Fleur. So we'll see, maybe, maybe I'll pick up a different fragrance during the Sephora sale, but um, I'm trying to like collect like Pokemon. I'm trying to like collect all these scents. I, I don't know why, but Anyway, let's move on. Okay, from MAC Cosmetics, we have the Skin Finish Sunstruck Matte Bronzers. So, matte bronzing powder adds warmth and depth. Okay, we know that. I don't need to read that to you guys. But it says here, this is a long-wearing 24-hour bronzer that features waterproof and sweatproof and humidity-resistant coverage in 10 shades for $35. So, these look beautiful. I did try to go see if I could buy this because Trend Mood says it's available now, but I couldn't see where you could purchase it via like Trend Mood's link. So I don't know at the time I'm filming this if I'll be able to find this in stock somewhere, but if I do, I'll link it for you guys. But now that we know that Papagraph is coming out with bronzer, I'm a little less interested in picking up a MAC bronzer, but I just remember like they had, what was their bronzer? Was it Oh my gosh, it was something sun, wasn't it? I can't remember. They have a bronzer that was so, so hyped in the beauty community back in the day. I would love to see those in person and see if it's something I need, but I'll probably pass on it for now. Next, we have a collaboration. This is kind of an interesting one. So this is Nude Sticks and Sophia Ritchie, the Nude Body Collection. So it looks like Nude Sticks is kind of getting into like body care. So they have a body wash they have a body toner and they have a body cream everything is like over twenty dollars and listen i'm all for bougie body care products if that makes you happy if that's part of your self-care like go for it do what you gotta do i'm definitely more on the drugstore end when it comes to body care I think that you can find amazing soap, amazing moisturizers, and all of the things at the drugstore. So I usually will shop, like I said, Tree Hut. I love Native. I love Dove. Like, the, those are my brands. I hardly ever buy, like, Sol de Janeiro or L'Occitane, like, hand cream. Like, that's not my vibe. And this definitely seems that way. And, I mean, I don't know if Sophia Ritchie is, like this amazing like body care expert I don't know I've been wondering like what's going on with nude sticks I'm guessing they're probably doing fine because they are coming out with new products it's not like we haven't heard from them in a while but they're definitely not a brand that I'm always like hunting for when I'm at Ulta or Sephora I don't think they're at Sephora any no they are at Sephora sorry I'm just like sitting here just trying to remember things, <laughs> but yeah, it's an easy pass for me. And then we have from Glowish, so this is who does other brand, I don't know. Anyway, so this is the Hydrating Sheer Vegan Concealer. It's the Glowish Bright Light Hydrating Sheer Vegan Concealer. It's a lightweight, illuminating concealer that melts into the skin, packed with skin-loving ingredients, bright light illuminates, hydrates, and rejuvenates 
under the eyes for a natural skin like finish. $27 in 15 shades. I think my friend Molly actually got these in PR. I saw she posted a video so I'll try and link her channel down below for you guys if you want to see her like wear test. I personally have the glowish foundation and it's nice but I have told you guys many times I don't really like a glowy concealer. That's just not for me. I'm a mom of a toddler and I have a newborn on the way. These eye bags are the most expensive designer thing I own. I wear them every day. <laughs> okay, so I need like some good old heavy duty. I just love a good full coverage concealer. I don't want to think about my under eyes. I want to like put it on. I want to set it and I want to go about my business. So a glowy concealer that hydrates is not what I'm looking for. That's what I do with my eye cream. So I'm definitely going to skip on this. But if you guys are interested, definitely let me know what your thoughts are down below. I don't remember if I talked about the Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Concealer. But it is also a hydrating, blurring, fast acting, 12 hour hydrating concealer non-drying $60 20 shades I feel like I talked about this so I think it's available at Sephora now I think that's why Trend Mood posted about it I can't imagine like using a stick concealer like this on your under eyes like I feel like you would either have to pick it up with your finger and rub it on or use some kind of brush because it's a flat top concealer so it's not like you would directly be able to angle that into your eye so that alone is a little bit weird. I feel like I've never used a stick concealer like this. I mean, I could see it being like a contour or a bronzer or a blush, but like an under eye, it'll be interesting to hear and see this in person. But anyway, it's again a like hydrating, traceless, soft matte $60 concealer. So I'm gonna be passing on that. And then to keep up with the bougie makeup, we also have a new foundation from Burberry. So this is the Beyond Wear Perfecting Matte Foundation. That actually, you know, I love a good matte foundation at this moment in time. So it says it's a liquid foundation with 24 hour active wear, long lasting and weather protection. It's breathable, lightweight formula, allows buildable coverage from medium to full, evens out the complexion, blurs the appearance of pores and helps protect the skin from environmental factors, leaving it smooth with a natural matte finish inspired by the innovative fabric of the icon. Okay. Now you're going to tell me foundations inspired by your trench coat? I think not. Also Burberry, I would rather have your trench coat than your foundation. So I'm going to be passing on this, but I mean, if you want to feel bougie on a budget, I guess you can check out the Burberry foundation, but I'm sorry. They just like lost me with that trench coat story. Okay, next we have from Desi Skin. Now I feel like I would be the target customer for this, but... I already have something from Summer Fridays that I use and I don't really feel like I need this right now but maybe maybe I'll talk myself into trying this you guys will have to let me know but Desi is launching baby bomb or baby bomb I don't know how to say that I wish I could do like Moira's accent from um, Schitt's Creek I think she's like baby baby <laughs> anyway um so it's a baby bomb nourishing belly but butter belly bomb belly butter this rich ball sinks what? this rich ball sinks deep into the bomb <laughs> oh my god trend mood has a typo there it says this rich bomb sinks deep into the skin and pampers growing bellies with ultra lux hydration it's formulated without water to create an occlusive layer that locks in moisture for hours refreshing aloe calms itchiness while rich ingredients like cocoa butter shea butter mango seed butter and coconut oil give mama maximum moisture $45 125 ml relieves dry stretched skin calms and moisturizes melts quickly for easy application so this packaging is so beautiful the box has a silhouette of a pregnant woman I'm not pregnant and I passed my postpartum recovery, but I'm definitely going to apply this on her body, Chen Lu says. So, um, yeah, I mean, the whole belly factor isn't really selling it to me, but I, I do use a belly balm. I don't know if it, like, helped me or anything extra than 
any other mom using something else but I will say that my stretch marks did go away over time but I'm pregnant again now I'll report back to you after the second baby we'll see we'll see next we have from Urban Decay so they're launching the new 24-7 inks liquid eyeliners these are inspired by professional paintbrushes ergonomically designed with a patented precision grip and ultra sharp tip vegan formula glides on smoothly with up to 24 hour wear water and smudge resistant comes in a flow through pen component with either a felt tip or brush tip $26 in nine shades these look interesting I will say I feel like I'm the only youtuber on earth that's not on the urban decay PR list <laughs> listen am I the problem urban decay why don't you like me why don't you like me? Hmm? Why? <laughs> Listen, every time I say something like that, like some people misunderstand, like I'm totally kidding. If I wanted to buy this, I would, but I did just get the Game Beauty Persona 5 collection and that has, I think, six eye pens in them. So I'm totally good. And I have like a black one that I got in the Glam Like Chucky collection. So I'm set for all kinds of pen liners and I hardly play with like graphic liner. I know it's like super trendy and like the looks that Urban Decay is showing in this campaign are so beautiful but I hardly ever do my makeup like that so I really don't have a reason to pick any of those up. Maybe if I hear that they're life changing I might grab one during the sale if it's available on the Sephora sale but if not I'll be fine with it. Okay, I did see that these Give Beauty products are now available for like exclusive rouge today, actually the day I'm filming this. So I filmed this on Sunday, I posted on Monday, but this stuff does not call to me at all. So Give Beauty is launching the Paint Up Clean 24 Hour Cream Eyeshadows for $20. These are a buildable cream to powder eyeshadow with built-in eye primer technology for crease proof, smudge proof, fade resistant color, and 24 hour wear. Oh my god, so many, so many adjectives to describe a cream eyeshadow. Like, we get it, it's a cream eyeshadow. It's not gonna change your life. I mean, it might, but I definitely don't need any cream eyeshadows, especially not those shades. And then we have the 24 hour gel pencil eyeliner. They're launching a bunch of shades. These are all very grungy looking eyeliners and I really need to buy an eyeliner like I need a hole in my head. So I'm going to be skipping on it. I think the one thing that I'm so so excited for hopefully is to have Give Beauty do a colorful eyeshadow palette someday. We'll see. Although I feel like I shouldn't expect a colorful eyeshadow palette from Give because remember when they did their collab with Urban Decay? Oh my gosh, that feels like so long ago, but it was just a neutral palette with like a pop of blue, so I guess I should really lower my expectations. She does, she does make a banging like lipstick though, so I will give her props for that. Okay, Wet n Wild announced that they're finally going to be launching their Sesame Street collection. It wasn't a very good announcement. I randomly found it on my Walmart like I play this like stupid game all the time and it was an ad and then I actually clicked through the ad and I found the products on Walmart I did post a video if you guys are interested but they said that the Sesame Street and Wet n Wild collection is coming soon to Amazon Alta on 416 Walgreens on 430 Rite Aid on 42 and CVS on 501 and wetandwild.com on 321. So the products are up on the Wet n Wild website if you want to preview them. Honestly, I totally bought this stuff because of the packaging. I just, straight to my heart, like I love Sesame Street. I went to Sesame Street live as an adult because I didn't grow up in America, okay? So I was trying to live like some unfulfilled childhood fantasy by going to Sesame Street as an adult. It was so hilarious because I was like surrounded by a sea of screaming children just going like, Elmo, Cookie Monster! And I was like, okay, this is clearly not what I was anticipating was going to happen. But 
It's okay. I can I can probably admit that I went to Sesame Street Live as an adult and I don't regret the stuff I bought. So I would say check out the video if you guys are at all interested in this collection. Next we have from Lawless, they have the Lavender Collection. So this is a eyeshadow palette and then they have some purple tone, forget the filler, lip plumper glosses in Violet Bloom and Lavender Sorbet. The eyeshadow palette looks, you know, it looks nice. The glosses aren't definitely things that I would gravitate towards because I have a hard time pulling off lavendery shades. But definitely on my wish list for the Sephora sale this year is going to be one of the lip glosses. I just want to try the brand and see because so many of my friends have such good things to say about the lip gloss. So I want to get one. I want to try it. So I'll keep you guys posted. And then we have from NARS, they revealed their new Afterglow Central Shine Hydrating Lipsticks, a color meets care that has dimensional shine and 8-hour hydration, nourishing benefits, long-lasting wear, buildable sheer to medium finish, $32, 10 shades. These look very pretty. I like the packaging a lot. I will be passing on that because I'm trying really hard not to buy lipstick and I feel like I definitely have something like that in my collection already. Okay, so I made it to the end of all the things I wanted to talk about from the trend mood page. So I'm going to go ahead and hop on over to my save folder because that's where I keep all the indie stuff I want to talk about. So let's go ahead and get started. So I just saw this from Wicked Widow Beauty. They're teasing this super cute little palette which is giving me like Alice in Wonderland vibes. So this is eight shades, four mattes, and two shimmers, and two duochromes. Super cute, very Eastery, and it's called the Not Your Average Babe palette. I'm not sure exactly when this is gonna come out. I would say stay tuned to their Instagram because that's where they're showing it. Very interesting color story. It is definitely like pastel y and like, yeah, very much giving me Easter vibes. So I'm very, very curious to see all of the information about that. And then we have from Terra Moon, oh my gosh, they launched their spring collection. And these are so, so beautiful. I'm just going to put the swatches on the screen for you guys to check out. I just love that shade called a. Adar, Adar. It's so beautiful and the shade Castro is like this beautiful chartreuse like green shadow. So I'm not sure like if it's a pre-order, pre-sale. I'm not 100% sure what's going on but I will link the Terra Moon website down below for you guys in case you're interested in checking out their shadows. And then we have to talk about this palette. It's so cute. I posted it on my community tab. So this is the Serpent and this is a collaboration between Mika Beauty Shop and Mar Martha's Makeup I think is the name of the collaborator. So it says on here we are so incredibly excited to show you a palette we have been working on since last fall. Serpent is a palette inspired by the myths and lore of serpents from a variety of cultures. The eyeshadow palette contains 15 cruelty free and vegan eyeshadows, two multi-chromes, one iridescent, one black paste, one sparkly metallic, four duochromes, and eight mattes. The palette comes with a mirror and it says that the palette is 65 euros. You can also use a code and it is available on pre-order right now. The pre-order is going to last three days and has unlimited spots. The palette is limited edition but will be restocked at least once in about a month. So I think that's really, really cool. I actually did watch the creator's video on this and it was very good. I'll try and link her channel so you guys can check it out as well. Like I said, I've never tried this brand and I'm not familiar with the creator. So it was really fun to kind of read up on it, see the inspiration, see the swatches. I did, I did almost buy this. I will say I did almost buy it. I have it in my cart, but I'm trying to be so good and I've spent so much money this week. Like I didn't know this palette was coming. And if I did know, I would have waited and bought this palette, but I bought like the Too Faced palette. I bought some Benefit blushes during the Ultra 21 Days of Beauty. I kind of need to start saving for the Sephora sale because there's a few things I want. So 
I'm trying to be good, but I might break down and buy it because it's so grungy and beautiful. So you guys will have to let me know in the comments if you pick this palette up. Are you familiar with this brand? Give me all the tea. I can learn so much from you guys. So I would love to hear your thoughts on that palette. And then we have from Bella Beauté Bar. This is the reveal of their pastel garden palette. It's 36 eyeshadows, 24 that are blendable and matte. Then they have 11 unique duochromes, 11 unique multi-chromes, luxe faux leather packaging. So it looks absolutely beautiful, you guys. I was hoping that this would be the palette that I tried from Bella Beauté Bar because I've been wanting to try their stuff and they showed this palette without the color story and I was like, okay, like I got my eye on you. I love a big palette, no problem for me. But it's a pastel palette and it's so pretty. But you guys know me and pastels, we don't always get along. And there are like a range of shades, like. But still, I feel like it's all like mid-tone pastels. And like if there was just one row of deepening up like colorful mattes, I would say yes in a heartbeat. But I just don't know that I would get enough use out of this because, yeah, it's a pastel palette. And if you've been watching me for a while, your girl in pastels, we, I don't know, we, we like get along. Like I would say though that if I had to pick preferences, I'm more into like jewel tone shadows so yeah help me decide should I get it or should I just wait because $69 is like kind of a lot of money and yeah I'm sure that people will be getting that palette in PR so I guess I could watch their videos and decide and then we have from one size this is the new sweat proof aluminium free primer secure the sweat that's what it's called it says don't sweat it with a beauty grade sweat proof waterproof and oil proof primer that locks in makeup and helps maintain your matte finish by controlling oil and shine for 12 hours so this is definitely not a primer for me but it'll be available March 21st for $34 I really feel like one size since it's created by Patrick Starr like I really feel like they are making the products that would work for them and I think that's so cool because he does do a lot of like drag makeup very heavy makeup and so I think a lot of the products like it totally makes sense for me I did try like his blush and bronzer palettes and they were too pigmented for me but again if you are somebody with oily skin if you are somebody that's doing drag makeup or performance makeup this stuff will work for you and so I think that not everything has to be made for me but I have such an appreciation of the products that they create because I really feel like it's targeting somebody that doesn't have a lot of options so I love that about this brand and if you live in a very sweaty place or you're a sweaty person you might want to check out that particular primer from one size no. so geology cosmetics finally showed us the inside of their wheat belt palette I do wonder if they showed this a little too soon because it's launching next month on my dad's birthday April 14th so I feel like it's a little early but We'll definitely talk about it some more on my channel. So this is the Wheat Belt Palette, the Ultimate Wonderland from Neon Yellow Canola to the Shimmery Jur Jurin Bay. Geology Cosmetics takes you on a journey to explore the minerals and geological formations of the region. Introducing our second palette featuring shades inspired by the Wheat Belt region, our new palette includes two shimmers and eight highly pigmented mattes. We will be doing a full dive into each shade over the next few weeks with a few already showcased on our page. So yeah, it's a really cute palette. I love how it's so different from their first palette, which was a little bit more grungy, but they chose the same like shape of the palette and things like that. So I'm very, very excited to get my hands on this palette. I will let you guys know if I have any more information and we'll definitely talk about it closer to the launch. Okay, so I forgot to talk about this when I saw this, but Glaminatrix showed us their new Into the Night, the cover of their next palette. So it says they're looking at maybe launching this mid to end of April. So I just wanted to mention that in case you guys are big Glaminatrix fans. 
Okay, so next I want to talk about this new product that Adept is launching. So it's called the Infinity Stack. It's a magnetic palette with clear window that will stack magnetically one on top of the other when you purchase two or more. If you purchase one palette, then it will be functional as an everyday beautiful magnetic palette with a clear window. Now they did post a video, so I'll try and add it for you guys so you can see the product in action. But basically, this is going to launch on Tuesday, March 28th at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. So I'll probably have a community tab post go up. This is definitely for the eyeshadow collector. Like if you love single shadows, this might be the answer to organizing your single shadows. I personally don't foresee myself picking these up at this moment in time because I really don't pay enough attention to my single shadows, which is um, not very nice of me to admit, but it's the truth. So I don't really need those, but if you guys are wanting to pick them up, I do have a discount code with Adept as well that you can use to save some money. And then we have from Tarte, which I'm kind of curious about. These are the Maracuja Juicy Liquid Lips. It's a liquid lip without the ick. Ultra hydrating, full coverage, matte liquid lip with good for you ingredients. Velvety smooth in one swipe. And I don't know if these are out yet, but I've really been enjoying a lot of the things that Tarte has been launching recently. So I definitely have my eye on that. And then we have a restock alert from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. Their little trove quad with the multi-chromes is back in stock. So it is a little bit of a pricey palette, but... I love the convenience of having those multi-chromes in one tiny little case. So if that's something you wanted to pick up after watching some videos or seeing other creators use it, then highly recommend checking that out. Okay, you guys, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this week's New Makeup Releases Monday video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I had so much fun chatting about all of the new releases. As always, if you guys want me to cover any new releases, feel free to tag me on Instagram or you guys can also comment on my community posts because I love talking about new releases on my YouTube community tab as well. So yeah, it's a lot of fun talking about new releases. Doesn't mean we always have to buy them, but I love, love hearing you guys' two cents on them as well. So yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I will have this look with the new Sydney Gray stuff as soon as they reveal one more thing, I think. And so yeah, stay tuned to my channel and then we'll have the new Nomad palette on Saturday as well. So lots to look forward to, lots of videos coming up this week. So I hope you guys are having a fabulous start to your Monday and I love you guys so much. Big hug and I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye!